So sorry for the interruption. So I was saying potential difference is what? Force times what? Velocity. So we are having that what? Um, force is MA times velocity V. Okay? And MA mass is kilogram. Acceleration is a meter per second square. Y velocity is what? Meter per second. Okay? So what do we have now? We are having that capital letter M. That is kilogram is mass. M uh, meter is what? Length. Second is what? Time. Okay, times meter again and the uh, uh, second. So minus two minus one will give you minus three. So I'm having m m is two m squared l t raised power minus three. Okay, so that is that for number fourteen. Then number fifteen is power. Number fifteen is power. Number fifteen is power. Okay. What's power? Power is a energy times time. Have we done energy? Energy. Energy over time. A energy. Energy over what? Over time. And energy is something as work done. Work done, please, over time. Okay. So if you don't know energy before, energy is something as work done. And what is work? Before a work will be done is what? Force times distance. So work done is force times what? Distance all over what? Time. And don't forget what is our force. Our force is uh, meter, meter per, uh, sorry, mass times acceleration times the distance all over what? Uh, all over the time. So let us get it now. Mass is kilogram. Acceleration is meter per second square. Distance is another meter, and time is what? Seconds. But why did I put minus one? Because it is down. Coming up, it will now be minus. So we cannot get the dimension. Kilogram is capital letter M. Meters is length. Seconds is time. Times. Meter again, length. Seconds again. So I'm having M L 2 T minus 3. Okay, that is for power. So the next one we are talking about is um, we've done velocity meter per second. That is L T minus one. Okay. So number sixteen. So number sixteen. What is the What is the dimension of universal gravity? Universal gravitational constant if F is equal to G M1, M2 all over R squared. So let us get this. We are asked to get the dimension of this G. Okay? G is the gravitational constant. We need to get the dimension. So before that, uh, what is our force? Force is what? Mass times what? Acceleration. Okay? Which is equal to G, M1, M2, all over what? Uh, R squared. Okay? So uh, one of these M should even cancel one of these M. So I'm having that what? That acceleration, acceleration is meter per second. Acceleration is what? Meter. Meter is L per second T minus per second square. Acceleration is L T minus 2, which is equal to what? G M. Mass is M all over radius. R squared. R is measured in meters. So I'll say L2. Okay? So if I cross multiply so that G will stay alone, this one will come here and M will come down. So G is equal to L2 plus 1 is 3. Okay? Then T is minus 2. Then M is coming down. So which is what? G is equal to, if M is coming up, it will be what? M minus 1, L3, and then T minus 2. As simple as that. Okay? So thank you very much for watching. Uh, in our next video, we solve more calculation on that. Okay, I think we have some questions to, to look at.